Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I received this yesterday, Mystical and Majestic Animals, and it's by Kaomi Harai, or Harai. It's probably Harai. This is a, a beautiful book. The artist has given us some information about her art. Art style, coloring tips, basic coloring techniques. Some of these are her completed pictures. I'll wait till I get into the actual line art. And here we are. So on this side, this is a picture that she's painted, and she gives us facts that are quite interesting. And then on this side, we have the line drawn. And this one says that tiger stripes are as unique as human fingerprints. With the use of cameras, scientists can properly identify and count tiger populations. I never knew that. I would never have thought that their stripes were totally unique. Look at these. Oh, aren't they just the most beautiful things? Snow leopards. And then the, pic the line drawing so on. I want to start them and I'm almost afraid to start them. Mr. Fox. And then the line art. They're just so gorgeous. It says tigers live for about 10 years in the wild and 20 years in captivity. And here's the line art for that one. Totally unbelievable. And here's the mystical part. <laughs> dragons. She explains a lot about dragons. I didn't know that uh, Asian dragons don't have wings. And there's the line art. And it's a nice light line. It's not um, really thick. So it'll be possible to maybe disguise it. It says that tigers have inhabited Earth for over 2 million years. Although smaller than the modern species, ancient tiger fossils have been found in China. Our American friends will love this one, the color. And this is a dragon of the east. That's how she describes it. It's just beautiful, isn't it, the color? And here's the line art. It says here that the most common species of tiger is the Bengal tiger. The rarest species is the South China tiger, which no longer exists in the wild. Uh -huh, I guess we must have some at zoos. And there's the line art. Mystical encounter. The colors are just phenomenal. gorgeous, isn't it? I hope I can um, do these pictures justice with the clouds and the water. Look at this. Forever love. And 
this is a rising phoenix. This is supposed to be a sign of world peace. If it's seen, it's not real. Beautiful. This one is a tiger's roar. It says here, white tigers aren't a separate species or subspecies. Instead, they're tigers that, due to a very rare recessive gene, are born with the distinctive white fur, gray or brown stripes, and blue eyes. Hmm. Be interesting. And there's the line art. And this dragon's kind of interesting, isn't it? Moon, moonlit fury. suppose it could go either way. Depends which way. Oh no, there's the moon pad. It has to go up this way. Oh, very interesting. Snow leopard. Snow leopards are typically solitary creatures. Mothers and cubs will stay together for about 18 months before parting, possibly forever. And neat. Although tigers are solitary creatures, a group of them is either called an ambush or streak. I can believe the ambush. I don't think you'd know these guys were coming. Really quiet, I imagine. sky in the background is really beautiful. <laughs> Tigers prefer to hunt at night and do so by sneaking up on their prey before pouncing. Their large padded paws help them hunt silently. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I could just imagine. Beautiful, beautiful bird. pictures are large enough that you're going to be able to get some really nice detail into them. Wolves can live off of a feast or famine type of diet and because of this they are able to go for more than a week without eating anything. I really like the, the close-upness of it. I'm thinking I might be able to um, start using my pastels. is a white white dragon but we could color him in in any color we wanted that's for sure
I like this. This is, in the Arctic region, there are nearly 24 hours of daylight during the summer and 24 hours of night during the winter, causing snowy owls to be diurnal. They hunt in both the day and night. That's something interesting. I never, I never thought about owls being up where there's 24 hours of darkness or 24 hours of light. I suppose animal wildlife up there has to figure it out. Beautiful picture. The enormous paws of a snow leopard work as snowshoes as well as soften the sound of their footsteps. Big feet. Look at that foot. This is just an absolutely beautiful book. Arctic wolves are well adapted to their cold environments. They have two layers of thick fur to help them retain body heat and padded paws to help them walk on the frozen ground. I can see why Samoids are one of the original 13 species of, um, of dogs. They are so close. If, that, if the nose was a little bit more pushed in, a little bit blunter, it's the exact replica of a Samoid. Only Samoid hair is longer. The face part. Is, is pretty much identical. Samoids come from Siberia and they have two coats also. You can make Samoid hair into fiber. My mom did that with ours and she knit a vest for my dad, which I now have. Fire dragon. Tigers don't have to eat every day, which is good because less than 10% of all a tiger's attempts at hunting are successful. Oh, well then let's hope if we ever meet one, we're in the 90%. That is unsuccessful, eh? I would never have thought of that. I would have thought they could take down pretty much anything they wanted. There are fewer than 400 Malayan tigers remaining in their natural tropical jungle habitat, habitats of, in Thailand. Wow. I love this picture. Gonna have to sharpen up those polychromos. Blow my mind. Tigers living in the wild can drink as much as 20 gallons of water each day. No wonder they don't catch their prey. <laughs> they got a belly full of liquid. Those blue eyes. Wow. Oops, sorry. Dragons were so revered in ancient Chinese culture that only an emperor could possess anything related to a dragon. Well, that's pretty neat. Why do they always have a ball clutched in their hand? Or their paw, or whatever you want to call it. If anybody knows anything about dragons, maybe you can answer that for me. I, I don't know. And that's it. And here are some more of her artwork that's been painted or colored. And again, that's Mystical and Majestic Animals by Kayomi Harai. 
Hope you enjoyed my flip through of this book. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.